Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor have another shave of the day. And today we're going to be doing British leather. That's it. Sterling's bread. I was going to say Ster British Sterling, but no, it's Sterling British leather. Yep. Nice scent. It's got kind of a citrus across the top with the leather muskiness in the, the bottom and the middle. Really nice. So if you like that kind of... Uh, leathery smell with some citrus in it this is the stuff for you so british leather from sterling when you lather it up yep you get that kind of a citrus out off of it but you got that leather 100 percent. yeah smells good then we're also going to be using some uh english leather aftershave to go with that don't get to use it very much but we're going to be using the Rockwell razor with some Gillette 7 o'clocks today. First time I'm using these to see how these work out. <clears throat> so that's going to be the shave of the day. And I got to be kind of quiet. Right now, sun's sleeping next door, right behind that wall right there. So I can't be too loud. So I'm sorry if it's a little not my normal volume levels, but gotta be courteous. You know, when you work those nights, you know, it's gotta be well, definitely got the old soap liquid in enough. It's flying everywhere. That smells good too. Nice scent. Alrighty. See how this works out. Well, it's kind of like one of those deals where um, not sure how that's going to affect my um, shaves. Or I might have to go to, like I used to, shave in the evening. <clears throat> like get the whole thing rotated around. Not that I want to. This is on setting three with the Rockwell razor. The old gift from Sig Solo. Now it has a extra one of these he has a nice collection of rockwell razors that's working good that's the old uh seven o'clock the gelats always seem to work good many years of experience with those things i like how this razor is nice and heavy too i just all you gotta do is just Apply it to the face. The weight's doing the rest, rest of the work for you. And you hear that working too. <clears throat> Hard to believe we're a couple of weeks away from Christmas already. We were having that conversation the other night. Man, it's almost a week ago that conversation. But <clears throat> the uh <laughs> we were doing our live stream over and and with my friend and he was like man time flies by so much and I was like you know there's a kind of a reason for it it's like when you were 10 years old you know like a year lasted forever because a year was one tenth of your life now that I'm almost 57 
one year is one fifty seventh of your life. It doesn't. It's like seems like it's compacting together. The faster it goes, it's like you have so many memories of everything. It just seems to fly by. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that, but the older you get, it seems like the faster time goes. <clears throat> The other thing is, is that when you're not doing a lot, it's like, it's like your memories are built upon experiences, events that you go through. It's like there's a quarter size amount of suds. And it's almost the Jeffrey Smith drippy, but it seems to work out pretty decently. But when you get going it's just not very many memories of anything special happened in the last two years as we all know what have we done other than going and doing something here and there every once in a while locally but I haven't been on a real vacation in two years going on almost three you know. talking with my brothers are thinking about and out to Colorado for a no one will trip this January. I don't have a snowmobile anymore, but it's kind of nice just to go out and spend some time BS with everybody. Big old truck just went down the road. Shook the whole house. Get these occasionally you get the tractor trailer load going down the road and they uh right in front of the street that we have it's caving in there's several times main water main it broke and it's you know it's like if you ever had a fire hose effect you know it's like it'll break and it the water pressure comes out like a fire hose underneath the road and eroded out so you're getting all this dirt and everything coming out and now the road is just kind of caving in it's like when these big trucks go over they hit it and it goes and they bounce up same thing's happening right in front of my driveway where a water main broke on our street yeah, definitely that's wearing a black shirt with soap all over it definitely gonna see that but it's caving in too so I imagine in a couple of years we'll have to fine be that way uh, get the seat streets gonna be tore up and replaced they had to do it farther down the street on our where our driveway is. Yep, I'm having all kinds of fun with these suds today. But yeah, it's like they had to block the street off down the bottom this year and take care of it. It's one of those deals where <clears throat> The uh, water main broke in my neighbor's across the street and his, because the main goes across the, the other side of the street. And it broke and then it went, did the same thing and where the water came out down, it's like we're on a hill and come down, where it came out down the bottom, it just washed everything out and it's like, ended up with a big old hole down there. We had a, after they closed it off and fixed it, 
we had a big old mound of dirt down at the bottom where it washed out and like the whole street is now kind of hollow underneath the concrete it's slowly subsiding in Yeah, it's seven o'clock, they're working good. Nice blades. Yellow. And it's smooth. After using those Darkos for a few days, and all these different shaves, this is kind of a nice change of pace. And then something that's just a nice smooth shave. <clears throat> I like it. So far, they just don't seem quite as aggressive as the blacks, but they're working good. I like them. It's like getting a nice, smooth shave off of this. That's what matters. The difference between blades can be just minor, minor in most of them. Most blades I found are at least decent quality. The only ones I found that are subpar are those Dorcos. It's like the one standard brand. It's like one and done. And the other Platinums are two and done, I think. But these Gillettes are working good. I like efficiency. They're working. Nice razor, nice blade combo. Working good. It's almost a Sig Solo shave today with the razor and the blade, and he provided those. Got some nice residual slickness with that. Sterling soap, that British leather, nice cement scent, good slickness. Okay, got it. It's done. I love it when a plan comes together. Doesn't want to come off the ear. like it feels good okay oh yeah aftershave english leather my man wears english leather or nothing at all those wonderful 70s commercials
Yeah, you definitely get the citrus coming across off that English leather and the leathery aspect to it. They complement each other. Pretty nice. I'm going to smell like a belt with a little bit of citrus. All right. That was my shave. All right. Sterling's British Leather. Man, it's a nice scent. If you're a leather type of guy, this one's for you. So I'll try out the Sterling British Leather. And this was the Rockwell. Was it 6R? Red? I'm not sure exactly. I got that upside down? Yes, I did. There we go. With Gillette, 7 o'clock. The yellow. Yellow and red. Sunset. There you go. And followed up with a little bit of British English leather. There we go. That's my shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. So like and subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.